Hello everyone, this is Piyush Sajdeva and I am back again with another exciting video tutorial. This is the seventh video in the series of Jenkins tutorial for beginners. So if you are new to Jenkins, I would recommend you to check the complete playlist. Links are in the description section below and in the title bar. In this video, we'll be looking into Jenkins multi-branch pipeline. Please make sure you watch the previous video related to Jenkins pipeline. That is a prerequisite for this one. So if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified about all my upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get started. So I'm logged into my Jenkins instance. The first step is to download and install the plugin of multi-branch pipeline. If you are wondering what exactly is multi-branch pipeline, so as the name suggests, it works with multiple branches at the same time. Like we have our uh, normal pipeline that we have looked into the previous video, which is this one. So this is one of your Jenkins pipeline, but it only has one branch. Each of the branch would be a tedious task. So then Jenkins multi-branch pipeline comes into the picture. So let's go ahead and install the plugin first. So we'll go to manage Jenkins, manage plugins and look for the available plugin in multi-branch because I have already installed. So for me, it will be there in the install section. So if I search for multi-branch, should be here somewhere. Here it is, multi-branch pipeline. So make sure you install the plugin first. So once you do that and you click on new item from here, it will be visible over here, multi-branch pipeline, right? So I'll do test multi-branch. This is the name and I'll select this option. Hit OK. Then this would look pretty similar to that of the Jenkins pipeline. In branch sources, I'll add the git repository where my Jenkins file is. So this is my repository over here. Okay. And this repository has two branches, develop and master. Main branch is the default one and doesn't have much details. So I'll skip that one. Uh, we have two branches for this develop and master. The idea is to deploy the code in development environment from develop branch and master branch will be used to deploy in the production environment. I'll copy the repository URL from here, the SSH URL. Copy it, I'll paste it over here in the project repository. I'll choose the credentials and basically it will discover the branches. This is the default behavior. So you can leave this as it is and rest all the things you can leave as it is. Make sure your Jenkins file name is the same or you can customize the script path and the file name as well. And I'll just keep rest of the options as default. Hit apply and save. Once I do that and click over here, scan multi-branch pipeline now, it will scan all the branches that are there in that repository. So if I click back again over here, you see there are two branches and they have been auto-detected by the multi-branch pipeline and build has been triggered for each of the branches. So if I go back to my Jenkins file once again. So this is the same file that I have used in my previous videos. So make sure you watch the Jenkins pipeline video as that one is the prerequisite for this video. I have told this before as well. And in that particular video, I've explained each and everything about this Jenkins file. Over here, we just made a simple change in the deploy dev section. We added a condition which says when branches develop, then perform these actions. When branch is master, then perform these actions. This is basically just to tell the pipeline that if the branch is developed, you deploy the code in your dev server. If the branch is master, you deploy the code in your prod server. If we go back, so builds are still running. So let's wait for a few minutes. I'll just pause the video and then we'll come back and see more details on this. So as we see, there is a green tick over here. That means this particular job uh, has been completed successfully. So let's get into it. 
click on that open the job and click on do ocean right so all the stages have been completed except the deploy prod state this is due to the fact that we mentioned in the pipeline explicitly that deploy in dev only when the branch is developed which is over here and deploy in prod only when the branch is master right that is why it skipped this particular section over here so if you click on that you see it's been deployed to uh, the dev environment successfully and there is nothing over here right and it says it's been skipped in the same way the same would have been done for prod as well let's check that as well i'll go back so it says it's still in progress and i'll tell you why click on master and then go to blue ocean plugin open blue ocean right it is at the pause state because in if you look closely over here it has timeout and input message specified over here which again i have uh, explained in the previous video so it will ask you if you want to proceed further or about the deployment so as a approver i'll just click on proceed and once i do that the deployment to prod will be completed and in this case as well you see the deploy dev stage was skipped because the branch is master right so this is how we basically use multi branch pipeline both the pipelines have been completed and they both were part of one single multi branch pipeline which is test multi branch i hope this would have made more sense now and the concept would be clear to you if this video was somewhat beneficial to you please hit the thumbs up below and subscribe the channel to get notified about all my upcoming videos hit the bell icon and i'll see you very soon with the next video thank you